Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of The Sinking City, and this is looking to be probably the last one, and I said we weren't necessarily going to 100% all the quests, but if we actually look, excuse me, look at our quest log here, um, we only have open house, all that glitters, and letters from Oakmont. Now, all that glitters may not take all that long, so we'll see. Uh, letters from Oakmont seems a little time consuming, but depending on how quickly we can get through some of this, we might give it a, uh, give it a try um, before we do the finale of the game. But if you could see everything else, we're pretty much done here. Um, now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the complete list of side quests. I did look it up. This is more side quests than I could find anywhere in any other repository online, uh, walkthrough and otherwise and things like that. So I don't know. I'm I'm guessing this is everything. We haven't been given any. We've talked to pretty much every notable character in the city thus far. We haven't really received anything more than this. So um, yeah. Um, the one thing I gotta say it's it's a little weird is a lot of the plot threads in this game seem to dry up without contributing to the broader story, like Esoteric Order of Dagon just, they seemed to be one of the big meanies sort of creeping up in the in the game's story, and then it's just, eh, eh, nope. And, um, hold on one sec, guys. The Throgmortons and all of that, you know, it just kind of keeps shifting focus, so it's a little weird. But anyways, let's try... Well, Open House is going to be more of a story, story mission, so... Um, okay, Walter, give me a box of incensories filled with weird power to leave in his houses with everything in its right place. It should repel the wild beasts. I have to go to the top floor of the house located in the southern cover side. So we have cover side, western shells... Salvation Harbor. Let's get Salvation Harbor out of the way for... Oh, wait. Did I already do this one? I can't remember if we already did this one. So let's not do it yet. Let's do these two. And then if... if yeah, because it's no longer marked here. Um, let's do these two. Sorry guys, it's been a few days since I played because I was up super late last time I was playing this. So, yeah, let's do these two and see. I, You know I hate Salvation Harbor. It's my least favorite section of the city, so we're going to do something else here. Um, cover side is fine. I'm not too big on western shells, or on the shells either, so we'll do the shells next. I want to get, it's kind of like eating your your broccoli or brussels sprouts or whatever first to just you know you know you need to eat them so just get them off the plate first and then you can move on to the stuff you like uh western shells okay i don't know why i forgot how to play the game all of a sudden pin evidence and place on map there we go a house in western shells hawking lane between inner shine road and warren road hawking lane inner shell inner shine street That appears to be it right here. Uh, we just have to fast travel to the shells west. I don't actually know where we are. Oh, I do. I think we're at the... Nope. I don't know where we are. Yes, I do. This should be the hospital right here. Okay. So I'm sorry I didn't get more of this uploaded. I was I was trying to get it uploaded this week. This week became kind of crazy for me, and um, my upload speeds, especially considering the file sizes, are very slow. And uh, also, because of the recording setup for this, I can't just record and then just like upload, which is my preferred method of doing Let's Plays. Now I have to uh, throw each of these into Premiere bit by bit, determine the which videos go to which episode and then not only that I have to cut up the audio and sync it 
because of the fact that I have to stop and start recording on the Xbox. Um, the video, the Let's Play audio, the my commentary and the actual game clips and their associated audio are going to be out of sync. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So we're going to go down here, take a right on Hawking, and then just go straight. So, uh, yeah, I, but I will at least have a couple of episodes up. I'm, I'll put up an episode today, and then uh, I will piece together as many as I can and have more episodes coming up. So for at least today and the day of Halloween, there'll be some content for you guys to watch. But, you know, Halloween is kind of like a... It's not a one-day thing. It's it's more of like the season in general. I feel like I've been here already. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's in the walled-off section. Fantastic. We're gonna move slowly so as not to get to get et by a bunch of good monsters. God damn! Alright. So bad. Let's do a little shell count real quick, because this game is, <laughs> yes, we've discovered it's not very good with the ammo and stuff. Gunpowder. I definitely need some more shotgun ammo when I get a chance. Wrong button. It's got to be around here. It's not that one, it's not that one. There we go, that's it. Let's get out our trusty, dirty, hairy revolver here. Let's start crafting some ammo. <laughs> Ugh, see, the, the way they do inventory in this game is like, they give you so little gunpowder, and it's, it's so costly to manufacture these ingredients that you can be picking up tons of stuff and still not have enough to craft basically anything. It gets a little obnoxious. And uh, I'm just side questing right now, so I'm trying not to use too many resources that I feel I might need for the final mission or boss fights or whatever, so. First aid we're good on, but can I pick it up? No, okay, we're good. Um, we are gonna go to the, I think he said the top floor? Now cover, oh yeah, cover side does have walled off sections, so. I don't think, yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that opens. This reminds me of the apartment where we found those, uh, ah, oh, damn. You man, can you waste my ammo? Okay. I think I'm a bit skittish today because uh, <laughs> this, these guys are getting to me. Also, I think I have the sound turned up a bit high for my... You know what? Let's see. Let's go check the audio. Because I was watching a bunch of uh, movies recently. I, I watched for the first time ever the Phantasm movies. 
Uh, well, I watched one and two, and then the rest are on, uh... The rest are on, uh, Amazon Prime. So I've been checking those out. Let's see, what else did I watch? Oh, I watched uh, Haunting of Hill House, which, um... That's the one thing I... That just really, like, most horror movies, like, I can be sort of tense or, or creeped out while I'm watching them. Um, but anything to do with hauntings is one, it's one of those things that will continue to creep me out after the fact. You know, walking around my house and stuff. So... Um... So I was surprised I made it through that. I think, and sometimes when I'm when it's Halloween, I'm just in the right frame of mind where I won't get too creeped out watching stuff like that. Um, but uh, I did okay with Hereditary. The one that like continually, like is just one that I find trouble. I have trouble watching over and over again. Is um, Oculus? Oculus. Same same director as uh, Haunting of Hill House. And Hill House is more of like a mini series slash TV show. There's a lot of interpersonal drama and stuff, so there's things to distract from just the ghost hauntings. Plus, you know, the the tactics that work in Oculus um, get a little tired after an entire season of television. I mean, it's ten episodes, an hour each, or 45 minutes each, you know. Um, those tactics and techniques get a little tired, but in a, in a nice, concise sort of hour and change. I think it's like an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes for Oculus. They're pretty effective. Yeah, I remember doing this before, so I'm pretty sure that we uh, did it for uh, that, I forget the section of the city, but I'm pretty sure we did that other one. Uh, don't tell the police your husband crossed paths with a powerful man who's been taught a lesson. If you want to see him again, bring all the bullets he stashed away. Don't try to foolish. He already told how much he's hiding. And for his and your safety, don't even think about going to the police. Okay. Well, we should have some stuff stashed away in here. Some ammo. So let's try and get that. Don't look. Run away from this place and don't look back. No matter what, do not gaze your eyes upon that awful man in the painting. A few moments ago, I was visiting a lady friend of, for a cup of tea and free lodgings, if my charm served me well. I saw him for the first time, then hanging on the bedroom wall, staring. He's been following me since, and now he's made his way here, to my own room. Heed my warning and leave. Leave before your eyes meet, may, meet his. Okay. Speaking of hauntings, I wonder if we're going to get haunted by the creepy guy in the painting. Well, we'll see. Sanity's dropping. It's possible. I was just remarking the other day that though I do get creeped out by movies about hauntings, games about hauntings freak me out much more while I'm engaged in them, but then I don't like I'm you know, I'm usually fine later, you know, if I'm in my house by myself or whatever, like it doesn't bother me as much. But yeah, movies about hauntings, that's it uh, just gets me every time. Um so since I watched that entire uh mini series, I was gonna do Haunting of Bly House, which just came out this season. We didn't find the stash yet, so definitely need that ammo, potentially. Um, okay, weird. Um, So yeah, I switched back to more sort of fun horror fair. Uh, I also watched The Lighthouse, which I wouldn't say it's a great movie. It's just that where else can you get that the the themes and atmosphere sort of nautically themed Lovecraftian sort of movie? Um, you're not sure if if what they're seeing is real or not. You're not sure if if it's just two guys going mad or if there's something else at play. I mean, you know, and and just yeah, that time period. 
and that setting, where else are you going to get that? So yeah, not a fan, not like the greatest movie ever, but it's not a bad movie, and it's um, it's uh, man, I can't believe I didn't find a stash. Maybe I did. Maybe it's just one of the, one of the cupboards. Well, I mean, let's uh, let's look around. Just uh, take another look through. If we still can't find it, then we'll we'll head out. You know me. I'm not a fan of being in these um, infested areas. But um, yeah, so it's not a it's not a bad movie ultimately. So yeah, I I watched it, but I've seen it maybe once or twice already. So I don't know. It it's there's not a ton you can get out of it on repeat viewings, but it is sort of a good spooky movie, and it's got great atmosphere and everything, and it was on um, Amazon Prime. But yeah, I'm watching Phantasm. Um, definitely going to watch Evil Dead 2 uh, probably today or tomorrow. Um, just trying to get through my my horror movies. Oh, The Void, yeah. You know, I think I'll watch The Void tonight, yeah. Uh, especially after finishing this one. That one's like, if you like Lovecraftian horror, and if you're watching this, I, I imagine that you do. Um, please check out The Void. It's a fantastic movie. Uh, I've heard it described as the greatest John Carpenter movie not directed by John Carpenter. I'd say, I'd say it's a fairly apt description of it. Um... All right, I think we're good here. We got all the evidence. Let's get the hell out of here. You know what I think we're gonna do? I think we're gonna hightail it because those damn things are gonna pop up again. Yes, yeah, screw it. Let's just get the hell out of here. Yes, yes, yes. We know. You're gonna jump out at us. I guess not. Well, in that case, I'm going over here. Can't carry anymore. All right. Nicely done. Okay. Now we're getting the hell out of here. You know, can we go back into the fish factory here? I wonder if there's going to be monsters again. Wild beasts, as they're called, apparently. And it doesn't look like there's any lootable containers like last time, but we'll go check upstairs. Um, yeah, I have the same problem every Halloween, though. Like, do I just sit and watch classics that I've seen a million times, or do I try and find new stuff to watch? And it's... I, I'm sort of... I've been airing the past couple years on the side of new su stuff, but if that stuff doesn't end up being that, you know, satisfying, you do kind of leave the sort of Halloween season going like, well, I didn't get to watch any of the... You know, I didn't watch my the, the classics, so. But then again, some of those classics I've seen like a million goddamn times, and I just don't know if I, I don't want to get sick of them, so I don't know if it's a good idea to watch all of them right now. I suppose I'll pick out a few that are just like must watches every Halloween. If I hadn't said it before, this game sort of is like potentially comparable to like a Lovecraftian version of uh, Vampire a little bit. It's got the RPG elements, it's got, uh, the, the combat's not as difficult, so, um, but it's got that same sort of aspect where like the city's infested and, you know, just, except in Vampire the entire city's infested, so just going down the block to get to an objective can be a bit tough. So we're going to go back to our casebook. Yeah, I think we did that other one. Uh, go ahead and place this on the map. So, cover side. Lincoln Street between Derry Lane and Landing Avenue. Lincoln Street, Derry Lane, Landing Avenue. Oh, I already marked it. Fantastic. Uh, so right near... Oh, that's probably where we were going. Well, at least we got the infested area out of the way. No harm, no foul. Yeah, Phantasm 2 was awesome because this guy tapes together. I mean, it's a really dumb idea in practice, but it was cool in a movie. This guy tapes together two double barrel shotguns. And then he 
he makes sawed-offs out of them, and then he sort of, like, forms them into this point, and I guess he's trying to use the combined barrels as some sort of large bayonet as well. I don't know. It's dumb, though, because as far as I remember, he doesn't use the thing in the entire movie. Oh, no, he uses it once, yeah. There's four minions chasing him up the stairs, and he fires once and kills them all, so that was pretty cool. Um... trying to think of other must-watch horror movies that were kind of like sleeper hits where I was just like damn that was really good but nothing's coming to mind right this second I wish that I think there probably were supposed to be actual shops in this game which I would appreciate because I, I you know I keep collecting resources but apparently they're not the right ones to to make shotgun ammo and the like with House and cover side. I mean, this looks like it must be it. Landing Avenue and Dairy. Let's go back a bit over here because I would imagine we have to actually go inside, but uh, it may be that those buildings, the kind of open air buildings. So many cultists. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know. We'll try in here. There's undoubtedly going to be monsters or something in here, I guess. 12 gauge shell. Thank God. Oh my God. They just... Nice. I don't know why it takes three shells. Go back to old Dirty Harry here. Can't carry anymore. Okay, we'll deal with you in a second. Though, right? Collected. Very nice. Nicely done. Let's kill whatever's making all this racket before we heal. I don't know how much health this damn thing's gonna take out. Four gunpowder. All right. Yeah. This uh, this mission. I don't know if it was a good idea to do because it's just chewing up all my shotgun ammo, which, as you guys know, I really like to keep well stocked if I can. What the hell is down there? Oh, come here. Come here. Let's see if we can make any more of that ammo. You guys are killing me here. Right, I got a 44-40 cartridge, I think. Yeah, I'm full up on revolver, that's good upon apparently everything else so let's see the gunpowder that should at least why is it so much gunpowder for freaking shotgun shell okay two metal scrap yeah I'm avoiding using the SMG the rifle um, because I can sort of get by with just the shotgun. Inventory, let's see, shotgun. It's 8 out of 12. Better than nothing, you know. We'll 
just go back through the main house, make sure we got everything. Is there anything in there? No. Uh, Hereditary is good. Good horror movie, if you guys... That was pretty uh, intense first time I saw it. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we were going to heal. So we lost a little bit of health. Oh, right. Ugh. Go ahead and craft. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a tranquil. Oh, okay, damn it. Well, shit. Well, I totally screwed that up. All right, let's see if the, any of the stuff we need is in there. Alcohol closer. Okay, so we're fine. Right, either way. Let's just get out of here now. Okay, so let's go to our casebook. Hired me in the fish market. He won't believe I kept my word and placed the incensories without them. Okay. So, we're gonna go to the fish market now. Turn in this quest. Then we're gonna do uh, all that glitters is gold, I guess. And then maybe move on to letters from Oakmont. And then after that, we have pretty much no other choice but to do the finale of the game. I'd say that's pretty close to 100%ing this. Uh, there was one quest where we didn't get all the evidence, which now that I think about it, I'm a little peeved about. I should have just done that. But uh, And then of course it's not necessarily 100% because there's multiple choices in this game. So Had we saved before each critical one, we could have tested out each one, but I I don't know. Didn't think to do it at the time, so. Oh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's one I'm definitely going to have to watch maybe tonight or something. Um, is an excellent uh, horror movie. Or not, it's not an excellent horror movie. It is a pretty good horror movie, but it's it's really good uh, Halloween movie because it just gets the atmosphere and feeling and tone of Halloween right, you know. I forget where I picked up the... I must have picked this up a lot. No, I recently picked this up because we didn't have it in our quest book, so... Is he here? Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. I did what you asked. Not sure what difference it will make, given the state of your houses. Hush! My properties suit a discerning and budget-conscious clientele. They are of the finest quality. Seems you and I have different standards of quality, Walter. You don't know this Borg like I do, newcomer. I'll beat old Victor at his own game. Here, take your reward. And don't forget to recommend my right. lodgings to your friends. <clears throat> I hope they are never in such dire need of shelter. Okay. Did that one. I'm curious how many skill points we have at our disposal. Oh yeah, we can get the Vishkivanka. Vishkivanka uh, suit now. At our hotel. I'm thinking about switching back to our original attire for the last mission. Not original in the terms of the... But the the pea coat it's a little more noir than this because of this one has the glasses and the, I'm not crazy about the coat, but I just wanted something different. Okay, so yeah, skills. We have nine knowledge points. <laughs> I really stopped paying attention to what the hell is going on. Okay, yeah, I think we can spare a few. Uh, let's see. Quest, quest rewards, who cares? These might be okay, some of these, so that we can make, like, ammo and grenades, potentially without... But, like, like I said, the chance 
to make stuff without expending resources is so low, I doubt it's going to be that useful. Uh, sanity might be a good one to have. These two don't matter. This one might be a good one to have. And then reload the revolver faster, I guess. This one might be good. I don't use traps. Uh, chance to deal double damage is only 10%. Unless you can upgrade these multiple times, I don't really see what the point is. Accuracy, accuracy. I haven't had a problem with SMG accuracy yet, so I'm kind of hesitant to get any of these, but it would be for sure probably one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, eight. And that would leave one more discretionary point, but since I don't use traps, uh, we will have all the relevant ones in here and the crafting thing just seems like a waste of points. I mean, I guess the only one I can think of is maybe this one. So if I got this one and this one, that would be a 25% chance to save materials when crafting ammo. Hmm. We'll think about it. We're pretty far off from another skill point but if we had another then we could basically get every other skill point in the game that seems like worth getting so we could try that all right so let's go lore casebook <clears throat> i wonder if there's achievement for getting all the skills in the game uh, all that glitters got another mark be sure to pack gum boots for it northern salvation harbor ugh uh, Salvation Harbor, Advent, Grimhaven Bay, Grimhaven Bay, Coverside, Reed Heights, Old Grove. Okay, so we'll do the Salvation Harbors first because I hate Salvation Harbor. I'm going to get it out of the way. Um, pin on map. Northern Salvation Harbor. Abolition Street between C. Smith Avenue and Powderhouse Street. C. Smith Avenue. I believe it's here. What the hell am I looking for in this one? There's a conspiracy brewing in the city. It's the Fishmen. I know you couldn't confirm my previous reports, but this time it's different. They're taking over. Their ransom underwater gold has been surfacing around the city. Conspiracy is real. Fishmen. Okay, so I have to find all the gold. The Innsmouthers gold. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's see if I can get my hands on a copy of Dagon. Oh, Color Out of Space. The, uh... uh actually, I'm just going to go down here to the boat. Color Out of Space... The Nick Cage movie, that's pretty good as well. I would recommend that movie. I feel like we're crafty and stuff. So I'm just going to take a right on Moreland and then a left on Powderhouse Street. Must be here. Damn it. This is my guy today. You can usually fell away from the one or two hits, I don't know what the deal is. Okay. 
Okay. That was a waste, so let's go ahead and go here. Heal. Grab this. Reload a revolver. Three gunpowder. Okay, see so you know what that means. Let's start building up our shotgun reserves. And you know what? Skills. Let's get that faster melee attack. We'll upgrade our revolver skill all the way, might as well. For now, that's what we'll do. I'll see how much XP, if we can, like I said, if we can get another skill point, that should be all the relevant skill points in the game available to us. So we need to find some insmith gold around here. You moron, feel clever now, Lewis, leaving that poor bastard chained up in the basement. He got flooded. Good luck getting Mr. Carpenter's money from him now. I'm out. Not gonna sit here and wait for you for the Grim Reaper. Carpenter will feed you to the eels for a blunder like this. Okay. Very nice use of lighting here. I always like when they have like a fan in front of a light like that in games. And again, sort of feeds into the sort of noir type of thing that they're going for in this game. This game has a really interesting flavor to it. Then again, you know, even Silent Hill sort of has like some noir aspects going on. The first two, especially. And four as well. Um... this first off. Can't carry any more. Oh, it's a Molotov. I don't think I've seen that many just about. All this gem. Very nice. And an accompanying sanity drop. Fantastic. If I'm not mistaken, that should be all evidence collected here. I don't think it's that kind of thing because it doesn't say I need I just need to find the the gold that's it so it's not about evidence or no evidence all right so we've got that let's see where the next place takes us to casebook Salvation Harbor Oxford Lane between Maple Lane and Marsh Avenue Northern Salvation. Oxford Lane between Maple Lane and Marsh Avenue, right here. Huh. Now, where are we going to go? We're going to go here and we're going to take. We're going to kind of go straight through the intersection and dock. And I, I knew it. I knew it was going to be in, in one of these sections. Of course. Been to this one before too. Yeah, I think we have. God damn it!
Okay, go ahead and grab one of these. Get inside here. Not that that's gonna keep us safe. The fucking monster abounds. Okay, that is a little bit faster on the reload for the revolver. Kind of nice. gone down there and had a little knife party with him. Six gunpowder, very nice. Okay, so let's restock, oh, excuse me. Let's restock the shotgun. All right. Come here. Come here, buddy. That's right. That's right. That's right. This needs to die so much faster. I don't know what the deal is. Is this not the right place? I thought. I was like, I know how these things are supposed to go. Here we go. Here's the ensign's gold. Five gunpowder. Okay. All right, we're we're getting our stock back up. That's good. That's very good. And we've got full health. And I dare say we should get the hell out of here now. Can we make a run for it there? I don't know. We'll see what we can get away with here. Shit. Let me out. There we go. Okay, out of the danger zone. We didn't take a highway there, but uh, we got there nonetheless. Okay, so. Oh, just because I aimed my gun once, I just aimed it at the ground, guys. Everyone chill out. Okay, so. Case book. All right, so we're out of uh, Salvation Harbor, which I hate. Next place we gotta go Advent. Advent's not too bad. Grimhaven Bay, I hate. Grimhaven Bay. Coverside. Reed Heights. Old Grove. So we'll do Grimhaven Bay next. Okay, Southern Grimhaven Bay, Marsh Avenue between Levi Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore Road. So here's Deep Shore.
marsh right here. And I think, damn, it's gonna be in an enough, another infested zone, almost certainly. So if we just continue the way we're going down marsh, we should get to the fast travel point out of Salvation Harbor. Yeah, if I never have to come back to Salvation Harbor uh, ever again, it'll be too soon. Or Grimhaven Bay for that matter. going to take a right, go deep shore, and then take a left on, what is this, marsh? Whatever. <clears throat> yes, I'm sensing we're going into the maw of chaos here. Yes, of course. Ugh. I hate these areas. Well, just damn it. All right, come on. Let's dance, buddy. There we go. That's, that's how you do it. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so should just be right around here somewhere. For any area we can get into here. Maybe here? Got some more gunpowder. There it is. Nice. Easily taken care of. Now we're going to go to our inventory. We are good to go on shotgun ammo, so let's just focus on, yeah, keeping that all loaded up. Let's not wake up any other scary boys here. We'll grab something from there if we can. Okay, so next one. Grimhaven Bay, Western Grimhaven Bay, okay, Maple Lane, okay, Maple Lane, between Sunset Avenue and Levi Coffin Road, okay, so right about here. So we're going to keep going over here over to Maple, assuming it's not walled off. <clears throat> I think this is the way. Yeah. No. Right? This is the way. And is 
Is that it? Nope. Hmm. It's gotta be around here. Maybe over here? Come on, let's fight! Yeah, I think it's gotta be in here. Right, let's fight this creepy boy. Come on, won't fight me. Nice. Getting back up there. Can't carry anymore. Oh, that's a trap. I was like, what in God's name is that? Showcasing. Somebody is mighty angry down there. Nice. Can't carry any more of that. There we go. Gold should be behind here. Maybe not. But well, we'll see. I might give up hope just yet. I think it's probably downstairs. They want us to descend into the murk. probably invincible or something, so let's get down here and find the fucking gold already. Well, damn it, where is it? Oh, there it is. Well, that's not creepy at all. It's losing a, a wee bit of sanity, it's fine. Hey, you leave me alone. Now let's hightail it out of here before that thing wakes up. Oakley dokily. All right. I think we're done in Grimhaven Bay now. Yes. Okay. Uh, Advent. Cover side. Read Hearts and Old Grove. So we'll do Advent first. Whatever. Uh, let's go Advent. Corner of Ambrose Street and Walnut Avenue. Southern Advent. Right here. Hoping that's not in a bad part. So we'll go here and take Bassett till it hits Ambrose. Which is in cover side. And where the hell are we? Pretty far from a fast travel point. So we're gonna go back onto Levi Coffin. I think we're gonna take it, yeah, all the way down to Pearl and Bayside. I don't remember this place. Oh, that was a very early case, I think. I'm not going in there.
That looks like a bad place. I thought I took Levi Coffin to get here. Maybe I'll take Maple. Where the hell am I going? What's your problem? I remember, let's see. Am I on the right track now? Let's see. Is this the right way? No, it says to go back this way. I don't remember having to go through a nasty section to get back here. Levi Coffin. Right? Well, you know what? We do want to take Mabel and go down deep shore. Let's go find Mabel. Maple. Right? No, we take Watch Maple this way, maybe? Yeah, I think this is the right way. And we go down deep shore. Deep shore, here we go. That's the way. I'll probably split this section up with the finale so that if you guys don't want to see all this fetch questy nonsense, you can just, uh... Okay. Yeah, between the two games, this and Call of Cthulhu, uh, I remember I, I picked up Call of Cthulhu at launch. I think I paid a full $60 for it because I thought it was going to be sort of a long-form game. You know, it was based on an RPG. Um, it looked like a... Hold on. Um, sorry about that. You know, but it's a game that can be finished in, like, under 10 hours. Um, the, there's not a lot of variation in the choices you can make and stuff like that. It was, I mean, if, if, if I would paid, you know, 15 or, or less for it, I would have been like, oh, that was nice. But, like, 60 bucks, I remember, like, I returned it immediately and I was like, no, 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 because I got it on Amazon. And I paid, uh, I used the money for Red Dead Redemption 2 instead, which was a much better value, in my opinion. But this game definitely worth. If I had picked up this for sixty bucks at launch, I would have felt much uh, better about it. I, I might have just kept it and said, like, you know, that's a pretty awesome game. Ugh, for reals.
Okay, hold on one second, guys. So it's on the corner of Walnut and Bassett or whatever. So let's go ahead and um, heal real quick. And the hit detection with the shovel is like a little bit obnoxious sometimes. <laughs> it sounds like there's a big party in the next room. I suppose we're invited, we better go check it out. Yeah. All right, come here. See what I'm saying? Like, if you're too close, or if you're in a weird angle, or something like that, it just won't register as a hit, so... It's kind of obnoxious. There's the thing. How do we get to it? Well, okay, it's pretty sure we go down here. Up here. down there, but we're going to go investigate regardless. Okay, got some more stuff. I hope there's a good reward for this quest, guys. This is a lot of stuff we're doing. of a way out of here. I think we'll go down this way, just try and hightail it out of here, get to the or something. Yeah. Nope, not fighting you. Leave me alone. Okay, so where are we going to go next? We have three left to get, so uh, we'll do Old Grove last, because that should be fine. Reed Heights, Old Grove, and Coverside. And we'll do Reed Heights next, so we're going to place that on the map. Corner of Hurricane Road and Baker Street. Hurricane... Baker right here. Please don't be an infested area, although I'm fairly certain it's going to be. Uh, where the hell are we now? Right here, so... Okay, so let's... If we just continue straight, we should get to Forefather, and then we can just run straight for the center of Advent. Texture's gonna pop in, I was just about to say.
Okay, we got recording again. We're good to go. I guys just had to uh, respond to a message real quick. All right, so I think we're gonna take a right. I think we can walk there from here, yeah. So right all the way down on Baker Street. What are they gonna learn? I do not like the infested areas. Actually, this isn't infested. I don't think. No, it's not. Okay, fantastic. I think it's in here. Deftly done, deftly, deftly. I'm glad I have my trusty first aid out as my primary weapon. Same deal as before. Go down here, up here. See, these, these kind of quests are getting a little annoying, like, because it's all the same building, it's all the same thing. Oh my god, there's a thing over here. Like, they should have halved the amount of things you have to go collect. Because it's all the same. Deftly, deftly done. Why are there still more monsters? Yeah. Okay. Cleaned up in here nicely. Get all the rest of the supplies. So now we have to go to cover side. Let's see, cover side, place on map. It is between on Lincoln Street between Old Church and Hubert Avenue. Lincoln Street, Old Church, Hubert, right here. I don't think that's a infested area, so that's good news for me. Like I've said in previous uh, episodes, um, I wouldn't mind the infested areas as much if you could clear them, either for a short period of time or, or permanently or something like that. Although, you know, as also as I said, if you want to max out your character, you can just by continually spawning enemies in those areas and they spawn um, resources as well. So if you need to farm resources, if you need to farm XP, you should be able to do it. I'm gonna go here. Go down Old Church, take a right on Lincoln.
so this is Old Church Road. I can't get through here, so how am I gonna do this? I could try going down Roosevelt. Yeah, and taking a right on Hubert. here. Oh, I think it's that place I didn't go to earlier in the game. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go in here and take care of business. to get a guide or something because I think I tried getting in here before and it was uh, couldn't figure it out you can't go up the watchtower I don't think I can use the fire escape Okay, yeah. There we go. That's why I couldn't figure it out before. Okay, that's two down. So it's right there. I'm guessing there's a vision quest or something area I have to unlock to get over there. Oh, what the hell? That, I don't think that helps actually. Oh, yes, it does. There we go. Yeah. Anything to, yeah. Resource hunting. That's it. Let's not die coming down here. Though that was a little more health than I intended on expending. But see, I think there's a first aid kit somewhere inside, though. Somewhere close. If there is, we're just gonna heal up ammo. There we go. First aid.
Okay, so about to get to the last section of this mission now. Let's go to our casebook here. Place on map. Uh, Northern Old Grove, uh, Goldbridge Road between Bullock and Windhalf Avenue. I feel like we've been there a million times. Uh, Windhalf, Bullock, uh, Goldbridge, right here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up Hubert over to Roosevelt. Weather has been crazy here. We had like close to win no winter, not even close, actual winter temperatures um, at the beginning of uh, the week, and it was like freezing at night, and it was super cold during the day, and now we're back close to like summer temperatures. So I had my fan off, I had like a sweater on, and I just realized right now I'm like, man, I'm really hot. What the hell's going on? So I'm curious what we're how we're doing on the skills. Okay, yeah, so we have probably at the end of this we'll get one more skill point, so we'll buy pretty much everything at that point. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. I'm guessing it's this one. We'll check this one. We don't know for sure. so cold here. My fingers can barely hold the pen. Tell my friends to return. They looked scared. What did I do? I just spoke. Okay, it's not here. I'm wondering if this is the right house. <sighs> How did that thing not die? Oh shit, we didn't reload our shotgun. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, shotgun reloaded. Let's put some ammo back into her. Okay. Stocked up on ammo again. Fantastic. Let's get back to her dirty hairy pistol. Nicely done. Nicely dispatched. complete excellent let's go kill the one last uh, creepy boy downstairs and we'll start on letters to Oakmont although after that case you know, I was avoiding those two cases for a reason Okay, so, let's go into our skill pool. We now have eight points, and how many skill point, skills do we want to buy? That's one, two, three. Got everything here. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we could potentially get, yeah, almost everything we need. All right, so let's do these first weapons. Got all of these. Okay, let's do sanity. Might as well. Seriously? Well, let's hope we get one more skill point doing whatever it is we're doing. Because apparently we can't buy this one until we get that one too. But anyways, we've got most of the ones we need. All right, letters to Oakmont. Ugh. Still not sure entirely that I want to do this one, but. Okay, so... Salvation Harbor, ugh. Coverside. Advent. Reed Heights. Shells. Old Grove, Reed Heights, Advent, Reed Heights, Coverside, Grimhaven Bay. All right, since we're in Old Grove, which was this one, here we go. We'll do this one. Southern Old Grove, Warwick Street between Seaside Street and Hillside Street. So Hillside Street. Warwick. Huh? This is Warwick. Oh, here, Seaside Street and Hillside Street, so somewhere here. And, alright, I guess we'll just uh, head that way. I hope this quest is worth it.
How far away for, are we from our next skill point? It quite, uh, almost halfway, but still. Ugh. I don't know if I've been in this section before. Nothing. I think this must be it. Just a shotgun, I believe. Okay, so we're good. Good to go. I don't actually know what we're looking for here. AP. It's extraordinary, incredible, fabulous. I was right. I told them we weren't alone, that the ocean was talking to me. And now that it's flooding in, the ocean brings with them. Brings them with them. All these buffoons who would laugh behind my back, they now fear these wonders. At the sight of these magnificent specimens, they run in all directions, screaming. They do not realize the incredible chance they have to admire them, to contemplate their splendor. I need to get closer to these creatures. Closer, always closer. I will finally be recognized for my talent. One of these creatures might even carry my name. I will be praised by all the universities. They can't ignore me now. They'll stop thinking I'm mad. Oh joy, oh joy, what pleasure. Come see me. I await your arrival. I will take good care of you. Okay. It's a little annoying they don't give us like a full 200 XP for each thing that we find. It seems like this is going to be much like all that glitters, so I just have to keep going to places, killing a bunch of monsters, and uh... find a letter or something. Okay, can't carry any more. Let's check downstairs too, just in case. since we're probably not coming back here. Let's check the basement first in case anything else wants to pop out. Um, but then we'll take that first aid kit. Yeah, look at this. There's that 
expected. Nice. Surprised if we didn't find more, uh... Okay, so he's been studying them down here, but there's not another piece of evidence or anything like that. Okay, well. Whatever. Let's go to... Oh yeah, okay, let's uh, heal up first. Grab the extra first aid, switch back to a revolver, and get the hell out of here. Alright, so, let's go to casebook. So we got the one in Old Grove. Um... Shells. Reed Heights. Advent. Cover side. Salvation Harbor. Reed Heights. Advent. Reed Heights. So there's three in Reed Heights, two or three in Cover Side. So Grimhaven Base. So we'll go over to Salvation Harbor real quick, because um, I hate it. Eastern Salvation Harbor. Crossing of Fitz O'Callaghan Street and Old Church Road. So Old Church Road. Here we go, right here. Please don't be, uh... Infested area, although it's probably gonna be. I think that Grimhaven Bay is the closest uh, fast travel point. So, and where are we? Oh, we're just gonna go down the street to old uh, Throg, close to Throg Morton's house and use that fast travel point near this gas station. I believe this is Fitz O'Callaghan right here. No, it's not a street. This must be it right here. Right? Here we go. Howard now. Whatever. I'm gonna go this way. Right. 
that's getting annoying on the console version i gotta say it does get annoying that just you, you have to open up your map all the time for some of these quests and it's just you know just stays stuck there but anyways so crossing okay so we're gonna look for actually i think it's right here Take care of this. Or, oh, I think he's in the basement. Did he find a way upstairs? Oh god, yes he did. Nice. Okay, I definitely need to do some inventory management here. Oh, okay, good. That was that was easy. Are you still alive? So many goopy sounds. Okay. Hi, Dad. The back room's window was broken when I woke from my nap, so I'm gonna go look for Mom. She kind of gotten far yet. I'm sure she'll listen to me when I find her. Sometimes when I take her food to her, she looks at me weird, like she remembers me. Sometimes she even reaches out through the slot and tries to grab my hand. But I do what you said and stand behind the white lines and push the tray with the stick, and then she cries. I really hope she'll get better soon. Don't worry, Dad. I'll find her and bring her home. Love you, Rachel. Eesh. Oh, even here. Nice. Hey, we just got a knowledge point. Wow, we've gotten quite a bit of XP from just uh, some of these. I hate this thing. Get back here. Come on! Where is it going? Alright. see what the hell is down here. Hopefully there's a first aid kit nearby. I mean, not like we don't have the resources to craft one, but still. trying to conserve as much ammo as possible now because if we're just going to be battling you know hordes of monsters every time we walk into some place we're going to need to be a little bit oh really there's some shotgun ammo downstairs i didn't expect them to be so generous we got a chance to investigate in here because we were fighting everything. Nope. Nope. Okay. So we got everything here. Let's get the hell out now. Okay. Now we're going to check for the one in Greenhaven Bay. Casebook. Okay. Cover side. Advent. Reed Heights, Shells, Advent, Reed Heights, mm, Reed Heights, Cover Side, this must be Graham Haven Bay. 
Okay, Northern Groove Haven Bank at the corner of Hubert Avenue and Whisper Street. Okay. Whisper. Flintlock. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Deep Shire. Huh. Well, damn it. Right in there. I guess we'll go over here. Get real sick and tired of these uh, infested areas. I believe this is the way. Yes. Just get around this barge here and get in there. hitbox for the shovel you're supposed to hit that yellow bit but it's like you can't even really aim it so and that's a first aid kit so we're gonna go ahead and heal up Nicely done. Oh, there we go, right in here. Let's just toss it real quick. At that. Always having a party over there. Okay, deftly done. Actually, we should kind of restock our inventory before we... Shotgun, let's go ahead and reload this. Revolver. Nicely done. Don't need any SMG ammo right now, unfortunately. Plus, they only give you like one or two at a time, and it's like, have you seen the fire rate on that thing? You think this is helping? Um, Oh yeah, since we got our extra knowledge point, let's go over to our skill tree and there we go. Now we have maxed out everything that I deem are worthwhile skills. This, since it's end game, is completely worthless. Um, we've gotten everything here that matters, so again, I don't use traps, so I'm not finding much use for that. And then, uh, fall damage, who cares, and you shouldn't be swimming in the water anyways, so, um, we've gotten all the useful skills of it in the game. Um, we are missing sk six skills if there was some sort of achievement to get, like, all the skill points in the game, obviously, we wouldn't have it, but, uh, 
I still think that's pretty good. And like I said, you know, if you play this yourself and you're just an absolute completionist, you can just keep going into these infested areas and killing things and looting stuff um, until you have all the skill points. And who knows, between all the things we have to kill anyways in this one, and um, the actual XP we're getting from completing the objectives, we may get enough for... We, most likely not, but it's possible that we could get enough for the rest of the skill points. Okay, what's pissing me off is we haven't found the letter yet, though. Like, where the hell could it be? We already went to the office and everything. pretty much has to be the place. I can't think of where it would be that we haven't looked already in this factory. Maybe there's a secret wall we missed or something? Yeah, okay. One of the things that does help with all the sameness of the, of the, like, the recycled rooms and stuff is, like, I went over here because I know that there's supposed to be more to this recycled room, and that helps you find the secret walls. So, Obed Marsh Diary, 21st March, 1856, New South Wales. That's in Australia. On that day we arrived near Ball's Pyramid, a giant rock around 2,000 feet high extending from the sea. The air is poisoned all around it, and you can barely see the tip of the monolith. The catch is good here, and brought us more gold. I had to give them two slave women we brought in from Sumatra. Wretches were terrified when they saw them. Good riddance. We landed on Lord Howe Island a few nautical miles away for fresh water and fruit. The heady dinghy was put at sea at 8.15 a.m. Last time we were up here, in 1847, there were three settlers and their aboriginal wives. This time, only the women remained, and they were not the same. Tattooed, their eyes were red with blood, and dead animal carcasses were strewn around the camp. They slept on the floor beside the corpses. We drank and danced with them, and one played a strange musical flute with sounds we'd never heard before. One of them took me to her hut. While I was at it between her legs in the dark, Matthews came with a torch and I could see that above me the dead husband was hooked to the roof. The skin over his face dried like a hundred-year-old apple. Bones and clothes he was, his mouth open and distorted in an endless shout. I can still see his eyes, alive and rolling, looking at me. The witch was laughing hard while wiping her thighs. All her teeth filed to a point like a wolf or a shark. We fled this cursed place, leaving the witches behind. I wonder if that's actually from... I wonder if that was lifted, actually, from uh, an H.P. Lovecraft story. Like, the actual uh, verbiage and everything. We'll see. I'm getting out of here, though. Okay. Out of the infested area. Okay, so we did Grimhaven Bay and the other one. I think there's a couple in cover side, so we'll do cover side now. All right, pin on the map. Western cover side, corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. Oh, that's Eastern, sorry. Old Church Road and Tanner Street right here. Hold on, is it? Is this my hotel? If it is, I might go change my clothes. See what other outfits we've unlocked. I'm gonna say real quick. Just in case they wanna pull this like, oh, you need to start the next mission thing on me. Just in case.
So cultist, mystic tome. Oh, it's a DLC. Investigator pack, yeah. Man of science. Don't care for the fisherman. Police envoy, don't care about. Plague doctor's kind of cool. Master sleuth, that's kind of cool. King's robes. Well, I think we should either do the gangster or the king's robes right now. Let's do the king's robes. It's looking pretty boss. How do we get there from here? Let's just take the boat over. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going through an infested area. No, thank you. I have no idea where I'm going. We're just gonna go on a fun little boat ride. What do you guys say? Absolutely no idea where I am. I'm gonna look at the map. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Oh shit! All right, so we're gonna go up this way. Still the wrong way. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, let's just go down deep shore and fast travel. I uh, totally got us lost. I'm regretting my choice. We should have done the gangster. Gangster outfit. I'm guessing the way they intended you to do this quest was that like, oh, I'm in cover side, let me see if there's any notes I can pick up, and then you go check it out. But uh, I just opted to do it this way instead. Because I'm not usually into fetch quests, but you know, when I'm so close to finishing every quest and all that stuff, I might as well. This is Old Church, I believe. Yeah, it's this way. All right, so. It's old Church, Old Church and Tanner Street. Hopefully, once again, it's not an infested area, but I guess we will prevail if we must. What I meant to say, I think, was we will persevere if we must. Um, but uh, we will prevail also because we have to. I'm guessing they want me to go in there. So Tanner Street and Old Church Road. Anything 
anything over here? I mean, it's almost certainly in the infested area. See what's in here, I don't. Still haven't found a that was a waste of ammo. See, this is, we're no longer on the corner here. And I still haven't found any place to get into. A building or anything where the letter might be. I don't think it's there. This is the actual corner. We prefer not to look it up also, if I can help it, but uh, I may be left with no choice here. Are those guys still fighting? Might be this one, I think it's this one. Let's try it. So there's some sanity meds right there. Let's just wait for the party to start. That is a lot of wood for an apartment building like this. What a weird, like, why would you have a wood-burning stove like this in an apartment building? I think I'm asking too many questions. Or not enough. Okay, no, nothing. Nothing in here. Alright. Cozy little apartment, though. Okay, sorry about that, just had to start a new recording. Okay, looking good. Nice! Expertly done. off our shotgun rounds there. Oh, you know what? Let's top off our grenades too. Are we getting loaded up? We just spent one. We'd think with all that pomp and circumstance upon us entering the room there'd be a monster or there'd be the letter in here, but uh, not so. Maybe it wants us to go down. No, that's just the downstairs apartment. 
maybe up one more level. Can try that. Yeah. Oh, we mustn't forget to raid the next apart or the the middle apartment for uh, supplies. Okay, there's a dead guy here, or sleeping. I can't really tell. I'm sure the letter will shed some light on it. Um, here we go. BG. The recipe was left to me by my grandmother, and when Lily was little, I used it quite often. A couple of drops in her milk, and she slept sweetly all night. My husband and I finally had a little time for each other. Of course, that was long ago, and since then I hadn't needed, haven't needed Grandma's sleeping elixir, but now everything's changed. It was two days ago that Bill barricaded the windows because we could not bear to see the corpses in the street. We're locked in, and we're out of food. The worst are the nights, impossible to sleep because of the squeals of death and other terrible sounds. We should flee, but there's no place to go. I'm afraid as fate draws near, that we'll end up like the bakers. I do not want this for my Lily. While my husband barred the entrance, I made my grandmother's tea. Lily drank her dose and went to bed, and Bill's getting faint too. It's time for me to join them. Good night, Oakmon. Eesh! I don't see the little girl. They probably didn't want to show dead kids. But, uh, yeah, I don't see the little girl. Thankfully. Um. I guess times is tough in Oakmon. Times is certainly tough. Creaky door creeping. Creaking. Okay, let's just go raid the bottom apartment one last time. And this one. Because we did use a grenade and a shotgun round. Okay, we're all stocked up. Alright, so that was the first note in cover side. Advent, read heights, read heights, read heights, St. Michael's is in Advent, I believe, oh, that's in shells, never mind. Cover side, okay, and is there another? No, that's Advent. Alright, so we're gonna place this one on the map. Eastern cover side corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Church. Eastern cover side, St. Kingsport Church and St. Elmo Lane. Alright, great, it's on the water. So we're just gonna go back down Old Church to the fast travel and just travel over there. I think we'll do Reed Heights next. Advent to finish. <laughs> I don't know why that poster made me laugh, but it did. This one. So, what are we doing? It's gonna go the opposite way. Right this way? No. 
this way. Yeah, and then take right on Kingsport. Okay, so it should be right around here. up on the wharf there. I have to get up to it. Let's see. Let's go down here. Let's see. I, mean, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, everybody. Just pop out. I'm going to make as much noise as possible so we can just get this over with. To say, I was like, this is walled up. That's highly suspicious. That's it? Just two floors? Okay. Well, uh, children's toys does not bode well in this city. Let's go ahead and read the note here. FM. I do not know where mommy and dad. Dad be went. Mommy kissed me on the forehead and hanged, handed me Mr. Teddy and left so many days ago. I am all be myself and Mr. Teddy and I are so cold and wet. If you have blankies, I would be so hop happy. If you are a nice people and you find this note, I live in a brown house with lots of flowers, but they are wet and sad now. My name is Timmy and if you help me, we can be the best of friend friendimps. Just please no more monsters. I am all red and sticky. Ooh. Oh god. There's a lot of tragic, uh, disturbing shit in the little stories being told in this game. Getting deja vu. Well, that was heartbreaking. Thanks for that game. Alright, so that's everything in cover side. Let's do some read heights now. Okay. This is advent. This is read heights. Uh, this is shells. Oh, maybe we'll do the shells since we only have to go there for one. So shells. Advent. Read heights. Read heights. So we'll do shells. Central shells, East Brown, Brown Street. Okay. To the east of the corner with St. Michael's Road. So East Brown Street. To the east of the corner with St. So I'm guessing it's around here to the ocean let's the shells east and let's just get in our boat I think it's over here, fast travel point. Yeah, I like the more urbane parts of the cities like this. Um, more cosmopolitan. I do not like all the slummy areas. I'm kind of, because so much of the beginning of the game took place in those kind of areas, I'm just sick of going there, so I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible. 
So I think there's two or th there's three in Reed Heights, and then the last two are in Advent. So. Take Orchard all the way to Powder House. Right, this is Orchard? Yeah. You know, all this laundry hung up, I'm just realizing, it's kind of pointless because look at how often it rains here. Hello, sir. I do pity your fate that you have been sucked into the ground. Must be a lot of quicksand around here. Powderhouse Road. Powderhouse Street. Do what again? Relax, brother. Brother. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, this is the place. Let's see it. Are not too bad in terms of monsters. Not gonna go downstairs just yet. Let's see what's upstairs. Whoa! Somebody had a party in here. God damn. KL, my cherished flock, K, I believe, has forsaken us, assuming, of course, any such being exists. Are we to die frightened? Are we to die mad? Death would be merciful indeed in the face of this second flood. There will be no rainbow to blossoms over our corpse to blossom over our corpses. The sea beckons me in a way scripture never has, as she has always done since the beasts who would be men oozed from her briny womb. I will go to seek her soon, and draw her salt-laden baptismal breath into mine own lungs. May she forgive us our hubris, your shepherd, Reverend Zachariah James Baker. There doesn't seem to be a central thread necessarily with these letters. I mean, other than that, this place is fucked, and... There's Cthulhu sea monstrosities everywhere, and life here is very, very grim. But I mean, narratively, there doesn't seem to be. How are we doing on... Hold on. Okay, we're doing fine. Just fine. down 
this one too. Okay, and we're going to go to take care of all the Reed Heights ones now. I'm guessing we're finally going to need to go into Northern Reed Heights for some of this. Case book. All right, so this one is Reed Heights. This one, Advent. Um, Reed Heights. Advent. Reed Heights. Okay, so I'll do this one first. Western Advent. Nope, wrong one. Eastern Reed Heights on Lambert Street between Helug and Bullock Street. So here's Bullock on Lambert Street between Helug and Bullock. Okay. And I will take this fast travel point in Advent and I'm just going to go down here to Powderhouse Street. This is it, right? Yeah, Orchard Ave. Yeah, I'm definitely noticed. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm close to the end of the game or something, but it seems to be getting a hell of a lot more buggy. Um, like I said, nothing that really affects the, the questing in the game. More so that it's just very sort of janky to look at, because there's lots of texture popping and people doing weird shit. here. here here we go must be right in here Girls. Nice. Once again, deftly done, deftly. All right, come here. Come here. There we go. That should be all of you. I think I've come in here before, actually. Yeah, I think I've been here before. I mean, I know I've been in this particular building model before, but I think I've been in this exact building before, and I, I was like, oh, shit, and I just ran out. Well, oh, yeah, let's restock our inventory before we start looting crates and stuff. All right, here, let's try. Can we try it again? Nope, nothing. All right. Well. That's the thing. Let's go into the basement, see what there is to find. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any real need to uh, 
use tranquilizers very often or upgrade your sanity. I think there was one time I was I was fighting a bunch of monsters or there was a boss or there was like a quest uh, a section of quest or something like that where I kind of needed to because like yeah I had just finished a quest line and it dropped my sanity and then a bunch of monsters came and that dropped my sanity even more and so I couldn't tell the difference between the fake and the real monsters um, and I was having trouble seeing and that's pretty much the only time I've needed to use uh, the antipsychotics or whatever in the game there's been no other other need to do anything besides that and there's been no need to upgrade the sanity either I just have because you know why not Yeah, there's nothing else I want to buy except maybe these two because they might have some use, but I don't. I think I think we're nearing the end of usefulness for most combat stuff too. DC blank blank nineteen. My name is well. I'm uncertain. It is lost in the static. I do not know anything. I have lost it all. My mind is a little bit, but is little but static, interspersed with bits of the radio serial that was my life. No, not my life. My existence. I hear names, Margaret, Jonathan, Albert. I hear dates, places, June 7th, 1912, at a church on a hill. Is it these bits that I live for? Is it the static that I will end my life for? Every day, as long as I, for as long as I can remember, the static has gotten louder. I have sunk deeper as the voices grow quieter. They are being replaced. I am losing what little I have left. A new voice, unintelligible, yet one I understand more clearly than any radio program in my head. I fear for what I will become when I can no longer hold on. I'm choosing to go before the static or the voice within it becomes me. Goodbye, Oakmont. I have sunk even further than you. Are these just stories of people who have died and or killed themselves? Starting to think that it is. Okay, well, we did that one. Next read heights is this one. And then this one, I believe, yeah. Okay, Western Reed Heights. Well, let's check the casebook. Western Reed Heights. Okay, so they're both okay. Near the crossing of Baker, Ward, and Ivan Streets. So, Ward, Ivan, Baker. Here's Ward. Ivan and Baker. Yeah. Right near the fast travel point. How convenient. Just one more in Reed Heights, two more in Advent, and we'll be pretty much done with this. Uh, what I am going to do, yeah, because this episode, this today, has just been collect-a-thons, essentially, so uh, I'm going to put a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video or something like that, just saying, like, hey, if you, know, if you don't want to just watch me like run from building to building and fast travel all the time to pick up letters, then just, if you want to just see the end, just skip the end. So I will make a separate episode for the finale the final quest in the game. Um, yes, it is. That's, yeah, I was about to say, I was like, I'm guessing it's this one. Could have sworn I've come into this building for another quest as well. this building again. I mean, that's another thing, reason you don't want to do this one, like, back-to-back. -back. Like, do this quest as you come into the areas. I would not recommend doing it well, the way I'm doing it, because um, we have been to this building, a specific building with all the sets and models and everything uh, in the exact same spot several times now. Wait, did I search this one yet? No, 
I don't think so. I mean, I should have used some resources uh, with the grenade and the shotgun round in the last bit, so. We'll just wait for the monsters to pop out before we start resource collecting. Because invariably we're going to have to expend some ammo. Yes, I know. I'm aware. Just relax, buddy. Is it really necessary to make all this noise? How are you not upstairs? The sound, the directional sounds a little, a little off in this game. But was he in this room? No, he's downstairs. Just come out, fight me, so we can get this over with. Shouldn't have gotten that close. What the hell else is out here? Oh my god. Yeah, the directional sound, I can't really tell where anything is. Especially if there's like multi-tiered uh, buildings like this. No clue where anything is coming from. Hopefully it's something I can just beat to death with my shovel. Excuse me, my e-tool. Sounds like something bigger, though. Okay, I think maybe the AI is... Or the game is bugged. I think it's... I think there's an invisible... Yeah, I think there's like an invisible monster. Oh, hold on. Let's, um... Oh, that's why we... Oh, damn it. My bad, guys. That's why we can't pick up anything. I forgot to craft uh, more shotgun rounds. Oh, no, I didn't. I was about to say, there's got to be something that we need. So I think what might have happened is I killed the monster, but they're keeping, like, they despawned it, but not properly, and so it's still roaming around right now, and it thinks it needs to come find me. So, like, part of its AI is still here, and, like, whatever sounds it makes, but it's not actually, it's gone. They despawned it, so... So maybe it's it hit, it's hitbox or something is still here? No clue. But it's certainly downstairs. Yeah, I think it's the thing I just killed, so. SM. Oh, Mr. Bigly, the pipes, the pipes are calling. I think you will recall that I have expressed concern about the drains in my bathroom numerous times over the last month. Obvious rattles, clunks, and gurgles are of no concern to you as you are yet to make a single visit, despite your assurances. But what about the voices, Mr. Bigly? Will there be enough to get your wrench in hand? Well, it's too late. No amount of tinkering or nut-tightening can take back the offer they've made. How can I refuse? They say all I have to do is come down and join them. They've shown me a way. I don't like or understand it, but they say they've done it before many times. I just need a sharp knife. I will join them. Piece by piece. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and when I'm all gone up here... I will be whole again down there, whole and glorious. I am nervous, but they have assured me that... They have assured me. That said, you assured me too. No, I have no choice. They have offered immortality, ecstasy, and secrets unbound. But best of all, Mr. Bigley, the pipes are silent down there. I have been assured. Some good writing in this game. I like it. So we got another knowledge point to spend. I have no idea what I'm going to spend it on. Sorry guys, just making sure I do have all the loot since I just had to expend some resources here. And let's just go back down. Just got that one. Let's check this one. 
good here. Let's check in here. The only other thing I can think of is that it's downstairs and that we missed some sort of like secret door. But no, I don't think so. I think it's just bugged. Let's declutter this map as much as possible. Okay, last read heights. I believe this is advent. Um, read heights. Here we go. Place on map. Western read heights. Washington Street between Ivan and Oak. So here's Ivan. Ivan Washington Street between Ivan and Oak. We're right there. This is it. I think this mission could have done with about half the letters, and I think the previous one could have done with about half the gold trinkets. It's like some sort of halfway house or hospital. No, we can't get through there. Camera's doing some weird stuff too. Maybe it's the hard drive, the the Hold on. Never been out of Firescape in this game before. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's the hard drive, maybe it's something else, but this game really doesn't and, and just Games on the Xbox One in general really don't like it when you travel is like when you're running everywhere and you're like these big open world games because they have to like load in a bunch of stuff. Maybe it's a RAM issue. Um, no idea. Oh, fantastic. Let's read this and get the monsters out here. CW, my dearest comfort. If my scrawl is an illegible scribble, forgive me. The shock of what I've delivered from the poor woman's womb has affected my nerves. Her guttural screams still ring in my ears, and her birthed tragedy lurks near me where near where I hide. Had my attendant not been attacked first, I would have certainly shared her fate. The wriggling abomination that erupted from the waif's belly leapt from her body and attached itself to the nurse's throat with a wet, smacking sound. Pulled behind it, the taut umbilical cord tore out the placenta in an eruption of bright blood that soaked my gown. Stunned, I looked into the mother's bulging eyes as she convulsed and, a bit, and bit off her tongue between the clenched, grinding teeth. Falling backward in horror, I crawled behind a medical cabinet in the operating theater. I can now hear the sloshing movement of the afterbirth sliding across the floor as the terrible infant silently approaches. I write this account on my surgical mask with the sturdy pen you gifted me last year near the Oakmont Commons. May it now serve faithfully as my only weapon against this deformed babe. Sincere thanks, Sebastian. God damn, man. Yeah, just the, just the, the, they get more disturbing as we go along. Some spooky shit, guys. Little alien. Uh, I don't know if it's a reference, but definitely in the spirit of alien there. Oh, there's the little prince of it. Oh, I see. It crawled along the walls. And it... Where does it go? 
it's out in the world. Well, that's fantastic. I think that's everything in Reed Heights, guys. Casebook. Yeah, we just got two left. An advent. Western Advent near the corner of Murdoch Avenue and Oak Street. Okay, we're actually pretty close to that. Murdoch and Oak right here. Let's take the boat over. Let's look at these silent hill angles every time I get in the boat. here. Yes. Yep. Then you support the milk yes. The mayor of one. Guessing is this one. All right, boyos. Let's rumble. Big chunk out of me. Well, I cannot believe it, but um, we're going to be coming in in about two and a half three hours for uh, these two quests, which is a little overkill in my opinion. Um, but it is a long form sort of the door won't budge. RPG open world type game like that, you know, so. And of course it's what these kind of quests are like, you know, in any game. RV, my dear Clara, it has been years since we last saw each other, and I still can't sleep without looking at the picture you sent me of your family. I wish I had something to show you, but pictures of this place would only bring you nightmares. What was I thinking when I left our hometown? I fear that I might be losing my sanity. Do you remember Dumont, my neighbor that works at the docks? I mentioned him in my previous letters. He was always a good friend, but I don't know what happened. He started screaming in the middle of the night, chanting about lost cities and saying strange words. I was never a, re a religious man, but I don't know how to explain his condition through science. I see strange things, things each time I look out the window. I don't know, I don't know if they're really there or if it's just my mind playing with the mist. Somehow the mad words of my friends start to make more sense each time I look at those wild and incomprehensible shapes. I'll return home as soon as I have enough money to do so. I hope to survive all this. Your beloved brother, Victor. Well, all right then. The hell? Oh shit! <laughs> Got you there, buddy. That actually kind of spooked me. I was like, the fuck? But then I remembered, oh, upstairs is locked, so it's probably someone there, and he was not too keen on me reading about his madness or whatever. Anything of note in his apartment? Not really. Okay, I can afford a pool table, sweet. I think we pretty much thoroughly ransacked this place. Let's double check here. I go downstairs? Yes.
Not much to see. All right, guys. Well, uh, we are ending. We are nearing the end of this quest. I like this apartment too. This is a nice place. Once again, I really don't understand all this open-ended level design. You can climb up through the floors and things like that. I mean, maybe on the higher combat difficulties, you need to do a lot more evasion and um, things like that. But it just the, the, the places are so small, and it's just not that difficult to, to just shoot everything. I really struggle to see the merit in it. Last one. Mirrors, mirrors. Western Advent corner of Purity Road and Oak Street. All right, we're on Oak. Burning Valley, Oak University, Constitution, Oak and Purity Road. Damn it. All right, well, we're just gonna take a right on Oak here and take it all the way down till we get to the water. Is this city hall? What the hell is this? The guys, reading out of a book and tentacles are coming out. The great old one said, This world is indeed comic. I can't read it. Maybe it's the courthouse? I have no idea what that building is. Maybe this is the other side. Yeah, this is City Hall, so we usually enter to the other side. We we'll literally take this all the way down and then even further down. Yeah, we, we got a ways to travel here. Silent Hill Dutch angle every time we get in a boat. Uh, I think it's a bug, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. That might have been it that we just passed. In fact, I would put good money on it, but we're gonna look around just in case. Yeah, I don't think it's there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. So. You know what? Let's go ahead and heal. God, you ever stop? Wrong gun, wrong gun. Alright, let's get our inventory and stock everything up. So, shotgun, grenade, revolver. Took out them, their monsters. Let's check out this bedroom. Last letters right there. Okay, let's just do a little looting first. Oh, I was like, oh, I looked with the weird reflection. It looked like there was like a cave system down there. But these are sort of cookie cutter enough that um, 
I mean, I should I should have known better. Like, there's no way. Okay, just the two stories. We already went through here. Not much to find. Except we can go back out this way for some reason. Once again, I just don't... I don't understand it. The man in the mirror. He's gone. Ever since this infernal flood began, I kept seeing him in the mirror. The man who stole my reflection. He wore my skin like a suit, but there was nothing human beneath it. He knew I was on the other side and was looking straight at me. I covered every mirror in my house, but in vain. I could still see him in the window panes, in every puddle, in every other people's eye, even in other people's eyes. The neighbors started to look at me strangely. I couldn't sleep. I saw his face in nightmares, and when I woke, I heard... Excuse me, when I woke up, I heard whispers coming from the looking glass. But now he's gone. I uncovered the mirror to smash it to pieces, and he's gone. There's nothing in the reflection at all, but I feel like I'm not alone. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah! You know what? Okay, hold on. I was like, oh, they're gonna spawn something creepy behind. Get out. Leave now. Yes, I think I'll take the advice of uh, the lipstick on the mirror, or blood, or whatever the hell it is. Let's just get the hell out of here. Now, where are we going? Let's go... Turn straight around and take... No, I don't like the shells. We'll go back to Advent, and maybe over to here. Yeah. Alright guys, well if I'm not mistaken... Let's see. That was the end of Letters from Oakmont. So, we have, I think, pretty much done all the side quests. There might be some, not might, there's almost certainly some side quests associated with DLC. I did not get the, the DLC for this game. I don't even think you can get it right now. Um, because as I said, there's an issue with digital distribution of this game right now because there's a copyright dispute uh, between the publisher and the, I don't know, publisher and the developer or something. And so uh, I don't think you can actually get the DLC right now. So without buying like the complete edition or whatever when I bought it, there's just no way to uh, to do it. So anyways, but yeah, uh, I, be I believe, based on all the different walkthroughs I've checked out, we have done every single side quest in the game, um, every single main quest. Let's see what our skills are looking like. We have two skill points that we have to buy stuff with, um, and we only have six skills left in the game. So uh, we've almost gotten all the skills. So again, it's not quite a 100% walkthrough or let's play or whatever, but it's pretty damn close. Um, and actually, as much as that was, a, it got a little annoying in places, I'm kind of glad we did uh, Letters from Oakmont. Because uh, those are some interesting little stories and interesting little bits um, that we wouldn't have seen otherwise. So, yeah, I think that all that is left to do is travel back to our hotel. And... Sorry about that, just got a notification. Um, just travel back to our hotel and start the next quest. Um, so we're going to do that and then we'll, we'll leave off there and that'll be the next episode for anyone who wants to just watch the finale um, and all the main story stuff. So.
So there's a little tip on the loading screen here that says ammo is scarce, fleeing is probably a better option. Um, it could be that uh, the reason that there's so many avenues to get through all the apartment buildings and stuff like that is because what they want you to do is like run for the objective, grab whatever, and then get the hell out. Um, but then there's so many other places where you have to like investigate a bunch of stuff and then there's monsters inside so you kind of have to fight so I don't know I think it's you know frogwares have been trying to put combat in their games for a while and they just haven't been doing very well um, I'm not they're not doing terribly but like you know I didn't like a lot of the combat sections in the Sherlock Holmes the Devil's Daughter um, this is definitely hell of a lot more functional than that, but I mean, if they're going for a more survival horror edge, the fact that resources are fairly abundant, especially after the, about the third of the way through the game, closer to the halfway mark, they're fairly abundant, so it kind of loses that edge. Um, I did have the combat on normal up until the boss, which was only a few, it was only a few main story quests ago, but we've been doing a hell of a lot of combat since then in side quests, so that could be part of it. But honestly, I haven't noticed combat any easier, uh, any less difficult on the easy difficulty setting. I think I just take a little bit less damage in combat. Um, but not too little. I mean, look at my health right now. I barely, uh, I barely got attacked in that last one. And it, they took out quite a, a big chunk, so. I'm watching you. New well, he's the one who, I think he's the one who gave me the quest, so I just didn't know if there was anything he wanted to say about the letters from Oakmont thing. So, Anyways, guys, that will do it for this episode, and uh, join me in the next one for the thrilling conclusion to The Sinking City. I have no idea how long it's going to be. Probably about an hour to two hours left of the game. So once again, thanks for joining me in this Let's Play. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And... That's it.